first thing we're gonna do is soak our gelatin leaves so put them in ice cold water and set them aside for five minutes in a pot add your mango puree and then add your passion fruit puree then add sugar and mix everything together. You then want to place this on a stove to make sure the sugar melts and you're going to cook this for about 5 to 10 minutes or so. Once the mixture starts to boil you can take it off the heat and then add your soaked gelatin. Squeeze all the excess water from your gelatin and then add that inside. The gelatin will melt pretty quickly so just mix it up and it should dissolve pretty quickly. Next you want to whip up your cream, so add cold cream or double cream or heavy cream into a bowl and whisk this on a medium to high speed until you get nice soft peaks. Make sure you don't over whisk the cream as it needs to be nice and liquid. Add your cream into your cooled mango and passion fruit puree and mix everything together. You need to do this step by step in stages to make sure all the ingredients are incorporated. So mix your mango and passion fruit puree with the cream. First start with your spatula, then once it's mixed in you're going to add more cream and you're going to carry on in stages until you're finished with the cream and the mousse. So just go around, do a circle motions and just keep mixing. You can also take a whisk later and whisk it all up just so you have a nicer smoother finish. I have created my first online cooking course where I want to give you all my knowledge, all my skills, tricks and tips that I have learned over the last 10 years. My courses are designed for any level that you might have from beginners to advanced and I want to teach you the best cakes that you can make for your loved ones, for your partner or for your kids. If you want to become better at baking, learn new skills and maybe impress everyone around you, this course is for you. Each course is going to have different lessons that I have created especially for you. There will be unique designs, new skills and loads of different flavors of the cakes that you can make. I am very very excited because this has been a dream come true for a long time and I know that you're gonna love this course because I have put my heart and soul into each recipe and each design so that you can impress everybody around you. After completing each course, you're going to learn a set of new skills. We're going to be doing all the basics of mirror glazing, how to apply the glaze, all the tricks and tips. You're going to get the full package of everything you need to know from beginning till the end. Each lesson is going to last around 20 to 30 minutes, which will tell you everything you need to know about each technique and skill. This course is designed for people that want to get better at baking, learn new skills, master the mousse cakes and mirror glazing, impress your friends and family, cook with your kids or start a business and sell these cakes yourself. Once your mousse has been done, it's time to prepare your presentation dish and I've got my mini super cute heart molds and I'm adding my mousse with a scoop. This is my soup scoop. It's just so it's much easier to put it inside. You can also do this with a piping bag if you have one uh, or with a spoon, whatever works for you. And this mixture makes a lot so I'm gonna half the recipe so it's enough for you to make six hearts. Then take a spoon and just gently tap on each mousse to make sure there are no air bubbles. You then want to place them in a freezer for several hours until they completely set and then gently take them out of your molds and place them onto a tray or a cake board and of course you can decorate them however you like I'm using some velvet spray 
I'm using red and yellow so first I'm going around making a uh, red color because I think it's very you know appropriate for Valentine's Day coming up and they look so cute and you don't even have to decorate too much on top you can just add a little bit you know extra something there and then I'm gonna do the same uh, with the other three but I'm gonna decorate them in a yellow color because it's a mango passion fruit cake but I'm also gonna add a bit of touch of the red spray just to make sure that it still fits within the Valentine Day theme they taste so delicious guys I really hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon on my next video so I hope you enjoy this guys and I'll see you soon